Should you buy monkey money with your real life hard earned cash? Yes. Also, use my creator code. <laughs> no, but seriously, should you buy monkey money or just play to get it for free? This video is going to be a bit of a rant when it comes to how monkey money works in the game and also about the new ranked boss modes, least cash and least tears. Before that, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who left a thumbs up and a comment on my last video, which was the Chimps Mega Project. I'm so glad I finally got to release that video, and I'm so glad all of you liked it, so big thanks to all of you. The gameplay you are watching now is a few weeks old. It's a ranked game of face least cash, and this video was supposed to be made shortly after that week's boss event ended, but then came the total transformation bug, and then after that I needed to finish the chimps video, so that's why the gameplay is a bit old. So about monkey money, buying powers and heroes and such is not something you do very often, so the biggest outflow of monkey money from your account will of course be to boss events when you're going for a ranked score. But recently that outflow went from being a nice little river to a freaking waterfall. What I'm talking about are the new ranked boss modes, least cash and least tears. In any ranked boss event you can reset to the previous save that happens every 20 rounds for a monkey money fee that increases for every 20 rounds. The further you have gotten in the run, the more each reset will cost you as most likely you don't want to throw away your run and start all over. It begins at an affordable $100 for the checkpoint at round 20 and increases by another $100 for every 20 rounds, ending up at $600 to reset to round 120 as you are on the final boss tier. You can also choose to reset to the last round, which will cost you twice as much. And this is where things start to get out of hand for these new game modes. For time-based boss events that has been around for a long time, you don't really need to do this because you almost always end up killing the boss so fast that a single round never even has the time to pass anyway. And since not even one round has the time to pass, you don't even need to spend the money to reset to the last save either. You can just exit to home and go back in to reset to the last round when the boss spawns. So the amount of monkey money you need to spend to be able to compete in a ranked time-based boss event is not that much. If you play BTD6 regularly and you play all the boss events, open the daily chests and do the challenges etc, you should probably not need to spend very much real life money on monkey money to be able to compete competitively. But then came least tears and least cash. These boss events collect your cash faster than the IRS, and one of the reasons for that is because in contrast to time-based boss events, both of these events are based around the challenge that you need to beat the boss using as little as possible in contrast to using as much as possible to beat it quickly. This means that you will need to cut things very close and you will end up losing a lot of times. Some of the times will be because you're testing out a new strategy to see if it has any chance to beat the boss whatsoever, and in this case you will often reset to the last 20 round save. And then, after many different strats have been tested and many reverts have been paid for, you finally found a strat that barely works. It's super cheap or doesn't require a lot of tears, and now it's time to actually execute it. Since it's all about cutting things close, the last skull of the boss will be super close to killing you and you will need to utilize the revert to last round feature that is twice as expensive, more than just a few times. And there can often be more than just one boss tier that you will have to do this for. This is especially true for ranked phase, since it can pull, or more accurately put, freaking instantly teleport balloons to the exit on the last skull. I think the reason this happens is because when you pop a moab that is being pulled, the insides will spawn where they were being pulled to. So when face is close to exiting on the last skull and it's pulling moabs towards it, you will end up popping them because the shurikens are seeking and then you instantly die without any time to react whatsoever, and then it's time to pay up for yet another reset. All in all, this means that you will need to throw away stacks of cash to even have a chance at scoring anywhere near the top. For this boss event right here, I spent 50 euro on 50k monkey money just on this boss event alone. For me, buying monkey money does make sense. I don't have time to spend hours getting 50k monkey money by playing. 
It's amazing that you can do that though. A lot of the players in BTD6, including a lot of the top ranked players, are in their teens and don't have a lot of money on hand. But what they do have is time. Because they sure as heck aren't doing their homework judging by how much time some of them spend in my Discord server. Link down below by the way. So while it is fantastic that the game is not pay to win since you can unlock everything without spending any real life money, there is no paywalls for anything. But for some players, it makes more sense to spend money anyway. For me, the time it would take to grind to get that monkey money for free would be better spent on making a video that I could then earn some ad revenue on, grow the channel, and spend some of that money on monkey money to create even more content. On top of this, I can also use my own creator code when buying things in a game to get some of that money back, so technically I get a discount. And honestly, I can probably count that purchase as an expense when doing my taxes, and counting all of that in, I have access to some pretty cheap monkey money. So buying monkey money makes a lot more sense for me as a creator than grinding for it. But does it make sense for the average ranked boss player? Here are the different options you have at hand when buying monkey money. Above I have added the amount you get per euro spent. A lot of you will have this denominated in dollars in game, but I'm guessing it should still be about the same in terms of value for the different options. As you can see, buying just 1k monkey money will cost you 2 euro, so that's 500 monkey money per euro spent, which is way too expensive. There is no reason to ever buy this, in my opinion. If you really need 1k monkey money, just play some and earn it real quick. As I said before, I spent 50 euro on 50k monkey money, so I chose the biggest value option. Except for when there is a sale. In this case, when I took this screenshot, there was a sale that gave you 1.3k monkey money per euro spent, which is even better. But again, I spent 50k on just one event, and to be honest, I would have spent more if I could. I wanted to grind some more, but I just started feeling a bit bad about how much money I was spending on a single week's boss event. BTD6 is a game that is mostly relaxed, meant for casual players. But just like Minecraft is meant for casual players, it is also one of the most competitive games out there. The ability to be appealing for both casual and competitive players alike is a hard thing to master, but both Minecraft and BTD6 does this very well. BTD6 has some work to do when it comes to the competitive part though, as I will talk even more about in a future rant video, but for now I'm focusing on just the monkey money part of it. To make sure that everyone, including all the poor teens who already spent their week's allowance on drugs or whatever kids do these days, can also participate in the boss events and to make sure that each week stays as competitive as possible, I think we need to adjust the cost for playing these new game modes. At least to me, the obvious solution here is to just lower the cost for resetting in least cash and least tiers while keeping the cost for time-based boss events the same. But what would be a more reasonable cost? I would say probably cut it in half. It starts at $50 per round at round 20, working itself up to $300 by round 120. And again, double that for resetting to the last round. Now, here we also have to consider Ninja Kiwi's position. We have little insight into the financial situation of the company. I mean, sure, you could probably find some numbers on Google, but that would not tell nearly the whole story. Where the revenue comes from and the company's projections would be more interesting. I also, through my creator code, earn some money on the in-game purchases made using my code, so I guess I'm also incentivized to keep the boss events expensive. You know what? Forget everything I said in this video up to this point. Higher prices equals more gooder. Okay, but seriously, even without insight into NK the company's financials, I'm pretty sure that lowering the cost for certain ranked boss modes to keep them competitive should probably not hurt their pockets too much. The new game modes upon release received a lot of hate from people who liked to play ranked time-based events. But now we're seeing more and more of those people turn around and say, hmm, okay, I guess these game modes are okay to get some variation, but I still like time-based events much more, but they're okay. 
The problem is that most people still prefer time-based events, and the other events are super expensive. Not a very good combination. One of the several reasons that the new game modes got so much hate in the beginning was due to the expensive cost of playing. Personally, I really like the new game modes, just not the cost of playing them. I will talk a bit more about the new game modes versus the old in my next rant video which will be about competitive BTD6 as a whole and where I think it needs to go to make sure that the really dedicated players remain interested in that part of the game and how we can bring more players into it. But for now that is all I had to say on the topic of buying monkey money with real money and how the new game modes have made ranked bossing too expensive. Please let me know what all of you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.